Malcolm Turnbull's in trouble. He needs to come up with an energy policy to lower electricity prices and at least look like it's doing something about climate change. What's more, he needs to get all of the states and the hardliners in the Liberal Party like Tony Abbott to agree to it by the 10th of August. So, what does he come up with? The National Energy Guarantee, or NEG, but can we really trust a government with a hardcore coal fetish to give us the full story about its energy policy? We worked with one of Australia's leading energy analytics firms, Reputex, to see what the NEG would do to greenhouse gas emissions and to power prices in Australia. We compared the government's 26% emissions reduction target with a more ambitious 45% target. And here's what we found. The NEG will do nothing to lower Australia's greenhouse gas emissions. That's because wind and solar projects approved or under construction, supported by existing schemes like the National Renewable Energy Target, will already push us beyond the 26% target the government has set. A more ambitious 45% target, on the other hand, would deliver a significantly greater reduction in carbon pollution and lead to growth in renewable energy from around 19% of all electricity now to about half of all electricity by 2030. This is because a stronger emissions target will drive more investment in cheap renewable energy like wind and solar and force polluting coal to exit the system. On power prices, the results are even more striking, particularly because the government has made lowering prices such a big part of its pitch for adopting the NEG. The research shows that under the government's 26% NEG, prices would remain relatively stable, falling slightly by 2020, then gradually rising again by 2030. But under a more ambitious 45% target, power prices will drop more than a quarter as renewable energy becomes cheaper. So the evidence is in and it couldn't be clearer. The NEG fails on greenhouse gas emissions and it fails on power prices. If it goes through, Australians will face higher electricity bills while carbon pollution will be driven to well above the levels needed to protect the Great Barrier Reef and prevent bushfires and floods that already wreak havoc around the country. It's time to take on the big polluters and their supporters in government who want to stop Australia's clean energy revolution. And the first step is to make sure that the states veto the National Energy Guarantee. Any state premier who supports the NEG in August supports higher electricity prices for Australians and more carbon pollution, whether they be from a big renewable state like South Australia or Tasmania, or a more coal dominated one like Victoria or Queensland. It's time to say no to Turnbull's dirty plan and yes to cheap clean energy.